Namaste, Masa here. Welcome to my channel. I am coming to you today with my review of Jean Dodal Terror de Marseille, the newest DAG that is being produced by the Artisan Terror team, the team of William Reda and Christian Conda. This DAG is based on a historic, inspired by a historic Jean Dodal Terror de Marseille, which originated in the very early 18th century. Dodal Tero is the third DAG that is being produced by the Artisan Tero and it's available on Kickstarter at the moment. Kickstarter is live so all the links for you will be included in the description of this video below. Their first DAG that they produced that they recreated was the Nicolas Convert Tero de Marseille which Nicolas Convert of course that historic DAG that originated from 1760 in the city of Marseille say and their second campaign on Kickstarter, which was successful, was the Little Jean Noble Tarot, which I absolutely adore. And I always have a copy of Jean Noble Tarot in my bag. I love reading with Jean Noble. Jean Noble is associated with the city of Paris, where it was originally published and dates mid-1600s, uh, so around 1650. When it comes to Jean Dodal, Tarot de Marseille, well, of course, it's Tarot de Marseille, right? But it's nothing to do with the origin of the city, right? Jean Dodal Tiero is, uh, was uh, originally made by Jean Dodal, card maker Cartier, produced in the city of Lyon. Now, on my channel, I do have a video where I share with you the Convert and Noble Tero side by side. And if you are new to Tero de Marseille, uh, you might enjoy this video. I hope you do, because I answer quite a few questions that I received from the community. And I share with you the differences between so-called Type 1 and Type 2 Tero de Marseille DAGs, which I will not be mentioning much in this video today in my uh, Jean Dodal video. When it comes to Jean Dodal, Tero de Marseille by the artisan Tero, I did sit down to film this review, to film this walkthrough for you three times now, only as I was setting up to be contacted by my friends requesting the reason using this particular deck. So I, of course, uh, I couldn't resist sharing it with my closest Tero friends who I do readings for, and they requested for me to use this deck to do those readings for them, which for me, it's a wonderful, wonderful sign of a deck that is to be played with, to be used, to be read with. But yeah, I'm actually so very blessed to have had those the readings requested to be done with this deck before even my review, as, and I, as I already know that this tarot will be that working deck for me to take with me, to read for others, to take to cafes and by working I mean I don't read Sarah professionally but I mean you know what I mean right and uh, now is the time for me to review it but before I turn the camera around I also have to say that when it comes to Jean Dodal uh, I do have quite a few reproductions of Jean Dodal decks and when it comes to me reading Tiero, Jean Dodal is the deck, is my first choice generally of the deck that I use when I read for others. But what do we know about Tiero de Jean Dodal? Well, while on the information card that came with this restoration by Artisan Tiero, we see the year of 1701. Jean Dodal Tiero also, in some sources, is dated. 1701 to 1715 which naturally invites speculations on my part which i will leave out for this video today but i do love to entertain the thought that the engraver or the engraving workshop for jean dodal tero and jean payen tero of 1713 may have been the same because, well, I'm very much into Jean Dodal and Jean Payen Tarot's. 
And uh, when it comes to Jean Dodal, Terre de Marseille, there are only two copies available that are known of. One of them is kept in the British Museum of London and the other one is in the National Library of France, Bibliothèque Nationale of France. And that's the later, uh, later one is uh, the deck that Artisan Terre used for their base in this restoration. So from my understanding, the two copies, the one that is in uh, London, the other one that is in Paris, they, they are pretty alike with a few minor differences in a few cards like uh, aces of batons and swords and page of batons. And uh, as I read with Jean Dodal Tiro quite a lot, I also have six different reproductions of it now. I filmed a video a while back featuring four of them, which I will link for you in the description uh, below. And the decks that I'm featuring in that video from a while back, a couple of years ago now, I think. Uh, but the decks are Jean Dodal Tiro by Tero Sheet Revival, Sullivan Hisman's uh, Pablo Robledo's Dodal, Lauren Forrestal Faximile Dadal and Fleur Noise. I also do have a video, a separate video of this reproduction. Uh, it's a facsimile reproduction by Cartagram on linen cardstock. But also I pulled this deck today for our walkthrough as I just would like to feature the majors of the, uh, I guess, the facsimile copyright with the cleaned out version by the Artisan Tierra. My review copy came in the signature tag box that Artisan Tero, they make those tag boxes. They're really good quality tag boxes with a thumb hole here. And, um, and uh, they also do for every deck, uh, Kristen Konda, she pulls an inspiration from one of the cards to create the logo for the front of the box. And this logo features, uh, well, was inspired by the patterns on the three of coins. So in here we can see that first edition review deck and uh, the cardstock, again, it's another signature of the Artisan Tierra that they work in partnership with the Shuffle Ink Company based in the States and they use a long lasting linen cardstock for their decks, which glides beautifully and shuffles like a dream. And we're talking uh, 310 GSM cardstock. These cards of Jean Dodal tarot they are standard tarot size cards right so it's uh, uh, measuring 2.75 by 4.75 inches and if I uh, bring the cards closer you can see the texture and it's really nice actually with the white background to see the linen uh, texture of the cardstock that they use it does have a little sheen, but it's not shiny at all. It's just more like with the light. You can probably see the sheen. So for me, it's just easier to show show the texture of the wonderful, wonderful cardstock that they use. And uh, these are the cards, the information cards that came with my review copy of Jean Dodal Tiero by Artisan Tiero. And you can see here their website where you can go then it will take you to the Kickstarter page as well. Now, these are the backs of the cards, but they will be changed um, because, uh, well, we see the black border and it's it was a printer's error there because Jean de Daltero, of course, doesn't have the black border. So this border, of course, will be removed. And also, as you can see, those more kind of triangularly arrows pointing down. Also, there will be pointing upward as it was in the original. So as you can see, the original backing there from the facsimile copy of Cartagram. So they will be reversed on the actual production copies of the Jean Dodal Tierra. What so many of us love about the decks, uh, tarot decks by Artisan Tarot, is their signature sharper, clean, crisp, and thinner line work that Christine Konda executes so wonderfully. And to demonstrate that, I've got here the full card from uh, uh, Jean Dodal Tarot by Artisan Tarot, and this one is the full card fl from uh, Jean, uh, Jean Flonois. Uh, 
restoration of Jean de Daltiera. So you can see how thin the lines are in the version by uh, Christian Konda and uh, William Reda. So for our walkthrough today of the cards, we'll have a look at the cards of the major, uh, major arcana of that new Jean Dodal Tarot by Artisan Tarot side by side with the facsimile copy from Cartagram because I think uh, having a look at the more kind of a scanned copy of the original, we can really appreciate the restoration that Artisan Tarot did for the Jean Dodal, the iconic historic deck. And um, Cartagram's facsimile copy is based actually on the one that is kept in the British Museum of London but the one in Paris and the other copy in London they are pretty alike as I mentioned or oh, from my understanding and please correct me if I'm wrong and if you notice any differences if you are familiar with both of those copies so yeah, the, uh, they with the full card, we straight away see that the choice that Artisan Tero made to more to include the body of right, the nudeness there in the full. And also I um, uh, need to say that uh, the tan color, right, the skin color will be a little bit more tan in the production copies, not as pinkish as you may notice it's in my copy, but I do love pink, so I don't mind a little bit more pink in my copy. And with the magician also we see that restoration job, how all the bleeds were removed, bleeds of the facsimile were removed and the lines are crisp and sharp. We can see the distinction of the color here, right? So they are artisan tarot, they don't include ghost lines or bleeding in their decks. And um, yeah, so they made the more skin toned colors across the the people figures in the deck so as you can see color wise they did make uh, the choices of the shade of green that they use which i really love it's very fresh this john the it just looks very very fresh to me details on the crown as you can see, they make um, those details more consistent with the green. With the Emperor on my review copy, we can see that his tights are green, right? And in uh, facsimile, we can see the tights, one is kind of darker olive green, and the other one is navy blue. So in the production copy, they, uh, Artisan Tero, they updated the tights and the Emperor's tights, along with Hangman, as we will see in a moment, and King of Coins, they will be in two different colors to... Uh, to be consistent with the fashion of those times of the royalties. But I really do appreciate very much the restoration. And um, I think I did forget to mention that Jean de Daltero is type 1 Tiero de Marseille, which of course we see here in the lava card with the blindfolded cupid with his legs facing over to the right and he's flying on onto the left so we can see the restoration of the wheel here and more sharper line work of the chariot scallopy curtains Where's the hermit? It looked like they opted for the yellow in here in his and parts of his robe and make the cape a bit more consistent with the rest of the clothing. Just like here as well, so the clothing continues there.
and then we have the wheel of fortune so as you can see the handle in the wheel of for fortune is extended which uh, for them it just seems to make sense right because we see that pattern of the wheel in jean noble tarot as well so as you can see in the facsimile copy of jean noble the handle of the wheel extends all the way through which does make sense to me as well and they did that also in the convert tarot, artisan tarot's convert tarot. So we can see the handle extends all the way to the other pole. And so they did for the Jean Noble tarot as well. when it comes to the force i trust they will actually include uh, this one in the um in the production copy this uh, f per le tranche which stands for fe pour le tranche don't yeah i can't pronounce french but what it means is for expert made for expert with jean dodal tero seems to to have been made for experts so they will include it in the production copy and also when it comes to Terra de Marseille it's quite fascinating to watch the lions lion figures across different decks because if we uh this one probably in Jean Dodal the lion looks very much like lion right to me when this lion is not very lion-like depiction in Jean Noble Tiero and when it comes to Nicholas Conver and I always joke about this card because for me this line looks very much like a spaniel so not like I mind I used to have a coca spaniel so with the hangman the tights of the hangman also will be colored into different colors in the future copy kickstarter copy so with Jean Dodal, Tiero, the death walks over to the right. Of course, with Noble, we are we familiar with the death moving in onto the left. And here also you can see the restoration process that they have gone through with the blue legs there, way more detailed than as we can see in Faximal, everything seems to be a blur, right? And here we can see very clearly the bone, the hands, the two figures with the crown on one, and the death is nameless in Jean Dodal Tarot. I love the eyes. So another signature, I guess, of Jean Dodal Tiero are the eyes of the characters. So they have made the choice to put the dress over the blue dress over the naked chest of the temperance. I really do love the freshness of the greens and the reds that they went with. So again, lovely cleaned out moon card. And with uh, Jean de Dalter, also the spelling was V is for you, right? For the kind of the older time spelling. And then more recent, more, I guess, type 2 Terra de Marseille Ducks, where we see you. Then again, in the facsimile copy, we do have that for expert written there on the side. And I need to ask William and Christian whether they are going to put it there as well. I do love the that they gave the skirt the yellow or the beautiful green color and again a signature of type one Terra de Marseille, a more androgynous figure and uh, the figure wearing the cape. Let's have a look at the minor arcana beginning with the suit of batons. Mm 
you can see the leafy and the floral details really nicely done by Christine Konda you can also see where the batons cross In the page of buttons, we again see that reference for expert. And uh, this is the Knight of Batons, and this one is the facsimile copy of the Knight. I know that the Artisan Tiero, they did update the colors on the horse and uh, on the dressings of the horse, I trust, in the copy that will be available on Kickstarter, the production copy. And again, here we can see that reference to the expert. Don't you love the face on the queen of batons? I love faces on Dodo. And the detail in the crown. On the throne. Just such a beautiful restoration of the historic deck, don't you think? Ace of Cups. Moving to the suit of cups with the cute bird here. Two of Cups, so we can see Jean, it was kind of spelled as I, right? Jean Dodal uh, in those times. And here we have that addition PLN, but what it means is for trading, right? And FPE for trading and then for expert. Lovely, crisp, clean. Cups, flowers, leafy details. Once again. We see the for export sign with the Queen of Cups. Her clothing also will be updated in the production copy. So if we look here in the facsimile, we can see there is some kind of olive green is present here. But uh, the crown, as you can see, it's pretty much like a blur because of the bleeding, right? The, uh, the bleeding and the coloring. And in the Artisan Tiero, the crown is very crisp and they added extra colors there for the pattern on the crown. And in the King of Cups, they will be updating the color of his uh, shorts. The suit of coins. So on the two of coins, we can see Jean Dodali. And there is a hypothesis that uh, it's written Jean Dodali because this deck was made for experts and uh, they wanted to make Jean Dodal's name sound more Italian. Although for me also, you know, like uh, with I standing for J in uh, where I grew up in Russia, we actually spell the family name first and then your initial will go after. So it can be Dodal J, uh, J right? So Dodal Jean. But I don't know. I don't know if it's a fact that it, they just really try to Italianize the spelling on the two of coins. But you can see also Artisan Tero, they remove the bleeding so in here the bleed lines are quite strong in facsimile and uh, and of course when the colors blend together they change the color so they made the choice of including the blue in um, those places where's the three of coins we can see the logo features there that we're taking out 
to place on the front of the box. And they will have the label pin as well with that same logo. Look at his face, look at his facial expression. And as you can see, all the hands and the faces, they were made more like uh, complexion, right? The more natural skin tones. Love the eyes on the horses and Jean de Daltero as well. And again, we have another knight with uh, the reference to the expert. Going to the last suit, the suit of swords. Just have a look how detailed this crown is, just lovely. With the cards being done on linen cardstock, they shuffle wonderfully. Let's give them a little refill. The cards are durable. A pleasure to shuffle. And they glide wonderfully as well. And there we have it, Zando Dal Tero de Marseille, recreated by the artisan Tero with all the cards uh, redrawn by very, very talented Christian Konda. I like this deck a lot. I see myself reading with it, I've read with it already. And um, I really would love to hear what you think of this newest Jean Dodal uh, Terre de Marseille available for us on the Kickstarter at the moment. As I was actually uh, preparing to film the ending of this video as I'm doing now, my phone battery died and I jumped on laptop and I chatted to a few of my friends about this particular restoration, this particular recreation, this particular re-envisioning of Jean de Daltero. And I would love to hear from you because for me, one of the very familiar features of Jean de Daltero, of course, it was the white faces, right? Where uh, in this version, at least in my review copy version, uh, William Rader and Kristen Konda make it, made the choices to uh, to uh, include skin toned faces, right? Not the white, but more kind of natural skin tone complexion to the faces and the hands of the uh, characters featured in the cards. I spoke to one friend and I didn't ask my permission if I can actually share that with you. So, um, well, if you're watching, feel free to comment below as well. But uh, we talked about how with historic decks, we see those inconsistencies with one deck and the other. And even like the white faces in Jean de Daltero in some cards would be not, would be more skin complexion faces or darker faces than Jean Payen. The hands are inconsistent when we compare with Noble. Like, for example, the face of the fool is not white. So there are lots of discrepancies, as we know, when it comes to the different reproductions of historic DAG. And I didn't want to go uh, into it, but even when we look at them well, for this video, but even when we look at the facsimile version, right, of cartogram uh, of Jean de Daltero, it gives us the dates from 1701 to 1715. And, uh, and we do have only two copies, as I mentioned in this video, that have been preserved, right, of Jean de Daltero. But also we don't know how many times between 1701 to 1715 that those same blocks were used to create the decks. And if you do know, please, I would love to learn from you. I always love learning and uh, when it comes to the history of Terra de Marseille, the choices of the coloring, 
I would love to hear your thoughts and I would love to learn from your knowledge because there are so many of you in the community are so much more knowledgeable and experienced with tarot than I am. So yeah, I would love to hear from you on that. I will, please do let me know what you think about the reproduction, uh, the newest restoration of Jean Dodal tarot by the artisan tarot. And if you love your Dodal tarot and if you read with tarot de Jean Dodal, what will what is the uh, version of it that is your go-to? I personally, you see, that's the thing, like, I'm just an appreciator of, of people who are courageous enough and talented to recreate and reproduce those historic decks for us. So I do love cleaned versions like that with thinner lines. I do love the refreshed colors of this uh, version of the doll, but I also love the historic decks. I like facsimile decks and I do love the decks also that feature the ghost, li uh, ghost lines as well on the cards. So I love them all, but I would love to hear what, where your preferences lie. And I'm also, I am, uh, I am a supporter of the artisan tarot, of the work that they are doing, because well, their signature work is redrawing the cards using the very good quality, lean and shuffleable kind of a plain card stock, right, for their cards. The cards don't stick, the cards glide, right, so to use for a variety of shuffling methods and uh, just bringing those historic uh, clean decks being oh, well, for them being inspired by those historic decks and clean them according and on, also i actually do appreciate the changes that they make as well that make sense to them at the point of uh, recreating and producing those decks so yeah, the Artisan Tarot Kickstarter campaign is now live. It's linked for you in the description uh, of the video. You can access it from there, from the link to their website. And I will post the link to their Kickstarter as well. And to their blog where you can read about different updates that they are making to these cards, to the decks that they are producing and the future decks that actually they have uh, plans for making available to the tarot community. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today, having a look at the cards of that, my new working tarot deck, if you will, uh, by artisan tarot, Jean Dodal, Tarot de Marseille. I am sending much love and light your way. Namaste.